How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Design Smith. Today I want to show you how to overlap these two different shapes right here using Illustrator. Before we get started, please remember to hit like and subscribe. It really does help me out with the growth of my channel and I greatly appreciate it. All right, so there's at least two different ways that I know of to overlap these two objects and I'll show you the old way and the new way using the intertwine tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to my rectangle tool and I'm going to swap the fill and the stroke. We're just gonna draw this right here. I'm gonna center this on the artboard and I'm not gonna do an exact copy of this design, but I'm just gonna do something that's kind of similar. So we'll do eight by 18 inches and we need to make sure that this is set to stroke and let's increase the stroke to about 20 points or so. All right, so let's make sure this is selected and we're gonna go over here to our gradient panel and I already have this gradient set up over here. So I'm just gonna make sure that these are evenly spaced out and you can use whatever colors you want. I'm just gonna use this color palette. So right now, this is being applied as a fill, so we need to swap the fill and the stroke. And let's go over here to the fill and click on no fill. And with this object selected, we need to make sure that our stroke is selected, so hit X on your keyboard. So that way we can go over here and edit this gradient. And we wanna change the angle of this to 90 degrees. That way the colors go in a downward direction on both sides. All right, so let's hit L on our keyboard to bring up our ellipse tool. And I'm just gonna go right here to the center, hold Option or Alt and Shift and draw out from the center. And we can just color drop this circle right here with our eyedropper tool. And then for the size, I'll probably bring this up to about 12 inches. And we'll make sure that this is centered and it is. All right, so I'm gonna copy this over here so I can show you two different methods of doing this. The first thing we need to do is select the rectangle here and go up to Object, Expand, and make sure that Fill and Stroke are both selected and hit OK. So you'll notice over here that this has changed from a stroke to a fill. And if you want, you can still edit this gradient in the gradient panel. So let's bring the rectangle to the front by going to Object, Arrange, and Bring to Front. And now we'll select both of these objects go to Pathfinder and click on Divide. And then let's grab our Direct Selection tool, that's A on your keyboard, and select this section right here and just color drop this black. So now that rectangle is behind that circle right there and we've achieved our effect. Now if you zoom in here, you'll notice that there's a slight little line right here. And that's the downside of using the old way. I don't know of any other way to patch this up, so if you happen to know one, let me know. It's good to know the old methods, and old methods still have their value, especially when it comes to learning how to utilize the Pathfinder. However, let's now do the new way, and I'll show you how much easier it is. All right, so let's grab the Rectangle tool, go to Object, Arrange, and Bring to Front, and we don't have to do anything with expanding this gradient stroke here. So we're gonna select both of these objects, go to Object and Intertwine and Make. And all we have to do here is draw a lasso around this section if we want the gradient behind here. If we want it behind it on this side, we just draw over this selection. And you'll notice here that there's no weird white lines going on on either side. It works just like magic. If you'd like me to do more videos on using the Pathfinder or the Intertwine tool, just let me know down in the comments below. I hope that I taught you something today in Illustrator. Please make sure that you hit like and subscribe. That really helps me with the growth of my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.